Hey guys, welcome back to Out of Work Outdoors. This is Connery from Out of Work. My real name is Kong. My YouTube name is Connery. Been uh, doing that forever now. But anyways, today uh, we're going to be talking about expensive fishing gear and why you don't need it. Why 90% of the people don't need it. So with, with expensive fishing gear, um, I think a lot of times you're just kind of peer pressured into buying it. Or maybe it's a aesthetically pleasing rod that looks really cool that you just kind of want as you buy it. But in reality, you don't need most of the equipment that you actually buy. And I know that's, I say that a lot, but I do have a lot of good, nice equipment. But I consider myself an advanced angler now. So for the most part, majority of the people watching this, uh, you're gonna you're not gonna be an advanced angler. And what I mean by advanced angler is, in order to be an advanced angler, you must no. It's not it's not involving the money, okay? It's involving your experiences and uh, your ability to want more out of your your items, your tools, your rods, and your reels. Okay, so. How, how do you know if you're this advanced person or not is based off the requirements that you demand out of your, your equipment, your tools. So if you start saying things like maximum casting distance, I have to power him in, I have to do certain things, I have to fish real slow, I need the added sensitivity. Uh, things like that, then you can pretty much consider yourself an advanced angler. Otherwise, if you don't know what we're talking about, then you're just spending too much money on your fishing gear. And that gear, that extra money, that gap between you know a, a regular fishing rod and an expensive fishing rod can be used for more important things like food. Food is pretty pretty expensive nowadays. But it is also an essential. So, uh, someone's going to say beer is beer food. I'm going to say beer is a food, okay? So, food is essential. Don't forget about it. So, if you're, if you're not one of those guys that requires a high-end rod or reel, then for the most part, you're really just wasting your money. But if you are, then go ahead and do it. But the question is, when do you know when to say buy your first expensive rod and reel it's when you start noticing the rod is not doing the things you are asking it to do great example we do a lot of dam fishing and when you start noticing that the fish are blitzing farther than you can cast to them that's a good time to get better equipment okay because I say you should but you don't actually have to now don't be peer pressured by this video to go out and buy this stuff too because if you're okay with catching two fish per trip you're fine but if you're not okay with that you want to limit out every time you know you probably should invest in some better equipment okay so expensive equipment is a very very touchy subject okay uh like i said a lot of times i buy myself stuff because say it's my birthday i just want something real nice okay if you're already a competitive angler or something of that nature then you're maybe sponsored and you have to run certain things but you also have to uh at that moment you already know what you want like you know that a certain type of lore i want a certain type of action I want a certain type of line. I want a certain type of rod and reel combination. I'll give you a great example. The shaky head is probably in bass fishing one of the most popular things you can throw. It's a little worm and you throw it on a spinning rod. Okay, so any spinning rod, any Walmart spinning rod out there is going to be just fine throwing the shaky head. But after maybe a year or two of throwing the shaky head, you're gonna say I want more sensitivity because I can't feel when the bass, the bass picked up my worm and ran off of it. Or I don't, I can't tell if that's a rock or if that's a tree I'm stuck on. Or I don't know if that, if I've landed on rock. 
That's what I'm not at all saying. Okay, that's that's when you start asking those questions, that's when you're gonna probably want a more sensitive mind, a more sensitive raw rib. <coughs> but if you're just out there fun fishing with your friends, don't worry about it. Really don't worry about it. Because I've I've got a good collection of ugly sticks, which are, you know, thirty dollars or less, to six hundred dollar setups. My most expensive rod is probably three hundred bucks. I've got four for just the rod, three hundred. The reels, I've got a six hundred dollar reel. And I want I'm not I'm not doing this to say I'm bragging or anything. I'm just saying those were very, very nitpicked things that I had to convince myself of before I bought it. So, my first expensive purchase was a jig rod. Uh, I'm not a strong jig fisherman, so I needed the extra sensitivity. Like you, Those are the things that you have to go through. But my crankbait setup is very cheap. I fish a Quantum KVD tour rod. Granted, it's 150 bucks brand new. I bought it on clearance for $75, I think. And it's still my best cranking rod to this day. Okay, so $75 rod basically versus a $300 jig rod. My my jackhammer chatterbait rods and reels, they're mid price. They're mid price. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Everything else is basically mid price because I'm a mid price angler right now. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to buy that. That's where you need to be at. We still have a lot of friends that run really, really inexpensive setups and do very, very well. And then we have a bunch of friends that have nothing but the best. I'm talking mega bass rods, reels, pan optics, 360, the works, okay? And they do well too. So it pretty much boils down to confidence in what you're doing. Uh, if it's your day to win, it's your day to win. If you just want to go have fun, then spend the money on food and maybe drinks. And don't worry about the rod and reel too much, okay? Because depending on where you're from, that is where I would feel you, you may need to make a decision on where you want to spend your money. And... You know, if you spend too much money on a rod that you hardly ever use, then you're going to be like, I bought that rod for X amount and we used it twice last year. Versus if you spend the money on the rod that you actually need, right? You might say, you know, I spent 300 bucks on that rod, but it was worth every penny because I use it every time I go out. You know, things like that, then then definitely, definitely go for it. Like, it's like this, this, this topic can go for expensive gear. When do you need it when you don't need it? For the most part, it's when you make the jump from just, I'm just here to have fun to I need. When you're, when, see, when you start saying you need, that's when you should buy the more expensive gear. If you're just, you know, I'm just here to have fun, then don't worry about it too much. You're just, you're going to be just fine gonna be just fine so let me know what you guys think uh, of that topic let me know uh, what other things you guys might want to hear about and we'll get the ball rolling then we're gonna be just basically talking trying to engage with some of our fans here and uh, we'll see what we can go forward with this because like I said this I drive a lot and I'd rather be making these videos with you guys for you guys than say listening to the radio or podcasts or things like that because there's a lot of just random stuff that goes on now so I'd rather talk fish I want to talk fish I want to talk with you guys I want to talk about the topics that you guys want to talk about so let me know in the comments let me know if you are a low-end mid-end or high-end angler in terms of your equipment all right guys I'll see you on the next video Drop me some suggestions on what we need to be talking about. And it can be anything. Rods, reels, tackle. Maybe even politics. I'm trying to stay away from it. 
but it can be politics as long as it's outdoors related, put it that way, then we can talk about it, okay? So, see you guys on the next one, see ya.